Knockouts, stoppages, and beyond crazy moments is what makes our sport one of the greatest and most exciting. Push right here, above us, a dirty by Tyson. But after spending some time to reflect over our previous successful content pieces to figure out what really makes people tick, we noticed one video in particular grabbed the attention of the viewers leaving the comment section a battlefield of astonishment. Judah, and he's really hard! He's on the ball place! And this is too bad to see this. So deciding to jump back into the bizarre world of freakish fight endings, we kickstart our second part video with another shocking outcome. I feel at this stage in both of their careers that uh, Amir brings it more to the table after British sensation Amir Khan took another unfortunate turn after a fairly reasonable run prior to his title showdown with Garcia. From Garcia. Oh, he's got him! Left hook gets Khan! A scramble, these brains! It shows the power of the shot when it lands on his forehead and it puts him on the floor. That tells you the power in these punches. And Khan has stopped him! What a sensation! Here in Las Vegas, he said he'd do it. But well, he's kindly said it. that he will fight any of my fighters under 10 and 0. There, we've got an Olympian, Chev Clark, he's 1 and 0, cruiserweight. I've got, I've got 100 guys. On the White Franklin undercard, 5 and 0 cruiserweight prospect Siobhan Clark put his skills to the test in his fourth professional outing. And without failing to impress, a perfectly timed right uppercut stiffened Ulrich's legs almost instantly. I said, and I want to take the credit for this fight, but you two have to take the credit. I said, let's have an easy one. You just had fight of the year. You've got the whole city behind you. Lee Wood said, I don't want easy ones. I don't think I'll box well in easy ones. Most would agree that Lee Wood had more balls than brains picking Mexican monster Mauricio Lara as a voluntary title defense. And this soon became obvious when he was beat to the punch in the seventh during a hook-for-hook -hook trade off. Oh! Oh! Simultaneously landing left hooks and down Wood goes. The danger very much still there. Dying seconds at the seventh round and the towel comes in from Ben Davison. I'm still not convinced, you know what I'm saying? and I'm still not impressed. Until you beat me, hey, man. I won't be impressed, hey, Lord Jones. Hey, man. So get on your hey, job and sign phone. the contract. I'm about to get mad. Yeah, get mad then, sucker. I've been phone. mad. When it comes to reminiscing on upsets, Jones Jr. versus Tarver 2 was one hell of a blow for fight fans. Though Mo seemed to forget the devastating impact Tarver's left hand had on Roy moments after. No, no, no. Go, go, go. I let myself come down and try to you know, do this for the people, for the fans, and I should have left it alone, but I did it. Surviving to the end of the fight was certainly a rarity for most of Deontay's opponents. And one of his victims that went by the name of Calvin Price felt that in just the second round, after Jelly Legs caused a huge struggle to get back on two feet safely. I can all pull about a little bit. I'll pull about, have a little pull in the push. The bitter British rivalry between Frotch and Groves was one that finally got quashed during their second encounter, after the Cobra nailed a well-disguised right hand down the pipe to cause a finished Groves to stumble back to his corner team.
karma can often be a beautiful thing, but in boxing, when one man is more vocally offensive and outspoken than the other, there's usually no better feeling than the acts of karma unfolding as sweet revenge is settled. It was a weird shot. It looked like he was coming to the body, but he came up top and like, ooh, shit. And I don't remember nothing until the about the ninth, seventh round. Like, it, it, it all went blank. Well, this is, a, this is a, a huge opportunity for me, but this is time for me to show everything that I made up. This time, it wasn't the punch that quite finished the fight. But for a brief moment, Lenari's managed to unravel Haney's defense with a fast combination that surprisingly staggered his legs unexpectedly. Oh, he was wobbling. Devin Haney wobbles back to his corner. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. And it was that right hand, that short right hand by Lenari. That's the punch that I knew was going to be the money punch. That hurt Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia's gonna drop, right? The world raises him. Oh, he can drop. He showed that he can go in there. He, he can face adversity. I can hit with a good shot. I'm gonna stay in the world. <laughs> Taking a quick glance back to the upcoming years of Lightweight's notorious knockout puncher and how he rose to become one of boxing's most famous and recognized players in the sport. David Price and Alexander Povetkin's affair was an interesting one. And although it didn't end well for Price, he still managed to show why he was once Britain's number one heavyweight prospect as a sharp left hook sent Povetkin into a temporary backwards moonwalk. I've also had people saying that I hesitated and I didn't run across the ring quick enough, but that isn't the case, you know. Um, but when things are happening that quickly, and bear in mind I've just been here myself and to be a little bit more calculated. There's nothing he's going to be able to do that is going to, you know, um, confuse me or that I'm not going to see coming. Um, I think that it's going to be a much more controllable fight and one that I'm going to be able to win um, with, with a fair amount of ease. After all the trash talk and belittling in the pre-fight build-up, Eubank Jr.'s demise against Liam Smith had to be one of this year's most shocking moments witnessed so far. Never been hurt, never been stopped, never been put on the floor, never been counted out like you have. And after so many had claimed Eubank's chin to be some sort of impenetrable shield over the years, the wrath of a welterweight was surprisingly all it took to put that myth to bed. Chins have been knocked out in the past, and I told you all week, don't be surprised, like, nobody should not be hurt, and that is the best thing, don't ever judge it, judge it by that.